Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in today's video, we will learn how to enroll user in Teachable for Shopify purchase. So now let's say that you are an online educator and you provide online courses. For that, you are using Teachable and you are using Shopify to sell out those courses. So now whenever an order is placed for your course in Shopify, then automatically with the details received, you wish to enroll that customer in your Teachable course as well. So how we will be performing this integration? We will be using Pabli Connect for that where our trigger application will be Shopify and our action application will be Teachable. So to learn how we set up this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will learn that how you can enroll user in Teachable for Shopify purchase. So suppose that you have created some course in Teachable and you are using Shopify as a platform to sell that course. So you want whenever a customer purchase on your Shopify store, then you want to enroll that very same customer into your Teachable course. So to do that, let us sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I will click on sign in. So now this is the all applications page by Pabli Connect. We will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now. So this is my dashboard and to create a new workflow on my right hand side, I need to go to this create workflow button and click on that. And now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. Here I have named it as enroll user in teachable course for Shopify purchase. And now I will click on create. As I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Trigger and action are the two most important principles of Pabli Connect to perform any automation or integration. So over here, trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So basically here, action is the response of your trigger application. So moving to the trigger window, as a title suggests, that is to enroll a user in Teachable course for Shopify purchase. So as my trigger application, I will be searching for Shopify and here it is. After selecting the trigger application, moving on to the trigger event, so now over here, the trigger event will be order payment. This means this trigger will start working whenever a new purchase will be made or the order will be initiated. So I'm selecting it. Now this is a webhook URL given and along with that, our help desk is given. So read this carefully because this webhook URL will help you to connect Shopify with Pabli Connect. So now let me take you to my Shopify account. And over here, we will go to settings. And now under settings, we will go to notifications and we will find webhooks over here. So to create a new webhook, you need to click on this create webhook button and over here in the event, we will be searching for, for order payment and I've selected it and the format will be JSON only. And over here, now we need to paste the webhook URL from Pabli Connect. So I will just copy it and now I have pasted it over here and the webhook API version will be the latest one and I will click on save. So you can see that the webhook is saved successfully. I will just close this. And now I will take you to my Shopify store. So now over here in my Shopify store, this is the course which I want to purchase. That names as PHP course for beginners. So I'm selecting it. And now I will directly buy it by clicking on buy it now. Over here, I'm supposed to fill in the details for a smooth checkout. So I will fill that. So now I have filled in the details over here. So these are the dummy details and now I will go to continue to payment over here. You can see that now I need to make a payment. You can see the billing details and the contact details and the price of the course is 100 and the quantity is one. So over here, I have mentioned the dummy payment details and now I will click on pay now. So now here in Pabli Connect, you can see that we have received the webhook response over here. You can see at what time it was updated at along with the details like first name, last name, along with the billing details and other details that were captured. And here is the course name given that was PHP course for beginners, which we have just purchased. And these are the pricing details as well. So this means that our first step of this automation is successfully done. So now moving forward over here in my Shopify store, you can see that there are multiple products, but I want this automation for only one product that is PHP course for beginners. So now what I want is I only want to go ahead with the details of those customers who will be purchasing this course. So that means I need to specify it somewhere in this workflow that this workflow should only run when there is a purchase for this PHP course for beginners. So I will go back to Pabli Connect and now over here in my action application, I will be selecting a filter. So by filter, it means that I am adding a condition over here 
So over here in select label from the previous response received, I will select a condition over here. I will be searching for the product name that was PHP course for beginners. So this was the name. So over here, I will select this from the response which consists of the course and now the filter type will be equal to and over here in the value, I will again mention the course name that is PHP course for beginners. So now onwards, every time whenever an order will be placed for this product that is PHP course for beginners, then this automation will proceed further. So I will click on the save and send test request. If the response comes that the condition is true, then only this automation will work ahead. And if it says that the condition is false, so it won't proceed ahead. So I'm selecting it. And now you can see in the response received, the status is success and the message is true. That means the condition is set now. So moving forward to my next action step. So now I've selected the action application as Teachable and the action event as Enroll User in Course. And now I need to connect Teachable with Paply Connect. So I will click on Connect. And over here, if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. So now to make a new connection, so you need to mention the email and password of your Teachable account. So over here, you should mention the details of that. Now moving on to subdomain. For that, I will take you to my Teachable account. So over here, after the HTTPS slash and before the full stop, you can see that. So here, this is my subdomain. I will simply copy it, go back to Pabli Connect and I will paste it over here. So here you can see that it is successfully connected. Now moving on to the course ID. So in this drop down, you can find the courses that you might have created in your Teachable account. So over here is my course. I am selecting it and now moving to email, name and password over here. So I will be mapping the email from the response that we have received previously. So basically mapping is inserting the data from previous step. So from the response that we have received from the Shopify over here, I will search for email and here's the email and I've mapped it. Moving on to name, I will again map it from the response that we have received. So I'm searching for first name. Here's the customer first name, giving a space and now mapping the last name. Here it is. So I have successfully mapped the name. So now why I have used mapping over here because whatever the details you will map in these fields, these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time. So moving on to password as of now, I don't want to mention any password over here. So I will just click on save and send test request to see the captured response. So over here in the response received, you can see the created at time. You can see that the subscription status is active along with the product ID and user ID and scrolling down and over here when I scroll down so over here you can see the course name. So here after courses we will go to users. So over here you can see that our customer by the name of desk user and the email goes as desk at the .com is successfully enrolled for a course. So this integration was successful. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.